Hey everybody, welcome to TIW Podcast. I'm Eric, and today I watched WWE NXT episode 531, which was broadcast on October 23rd, 2019. Uh, oh my god, this this episode is fantastic. Oh, like every single match was was top notch, and it just kept kept moving. The pace of the whole episode, I was uh, I loved it, man. Um, so if you haven't watched it yet, I recommend just watching it. I am going to talk about spoilers. If you've avoided spoilers for this episode, then stop listening to this. Go watch the episode as soon as possible. Okay. We open up the night. I totally forgot like about everything that was going to happen on this show that was announced for the show, except for the main event. Um, which is Roderick Strong versus uh, Dominic Dijakovic versus um, Keith Lee, a triple threat for the North American Championship. Um, I'll get to that. Uh, I totally forgot that was going to be Rhea Ripley versus uh, Bianca Belair, and this opened up the show, and it was just fantastic. Um, <clears throat> I love bo- both both of their matches, every single one of either of their matches. I I I love. Um, I, I I feel like these two are probably the only women that this opening sequence like it's it's it, it totally believable uh the with that the, the test of strength that takes place between the two of them I I can't even imagine that taking place between anybody else is just perfect for them and this whole match is just perfect for the both of them and Rhea Ripley gets the win via Riptide. Um, this is after EO attacked, came out and attacked R- Rhea while uh, the the referee was looking the other way. Um, and uh, but but Rhea was still able to kick out from Bianca's uh, pin pin attempt, and then Candace came out and neutralized uh, EO being out there. Uh, so Rhea g- got recovered. Um, and hit the riptide and won the match, and then it's announced. I'm 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 extra excited for a lot of this because I am going. Uh, I'm taking a short trip out to Florida um, to see um, uh, to 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 see NXT uh, live on Wednesday and then also go to a bunch more NXT shows, uh, their, their live events, their local live events, um, uh, the next couple of nights as well. I am super excited for, for this because there's a bunch of matches that were announced for next week and all that have been announced are, I think are going to be freaking amazing. Uh, the first of which, I don't know if this was announced like right away after this was announced later on in the show, Io Shirai versus Candice LeRae. We already saw them in one of the best women's matches I've ever seen. Uh, definitely the best that I've seen in person. Um, uh, and forget just best women's match. It was one of the best matches I've ever seen in person. Um, Io versus Candice at uh, TakeOver Toronto. That was so good. And now I'm super hyped that I'm going to see them fight each other again in person. That's Ah, I'm super excited for that. Okay, so um, moving on, uh, that was kind of the results from this th- this match, this whole the, these opening segments uh, is that match being made for next week. Um, then we had Cameron Grimes versus Matt Riddle, and I think I talked about this last week. Cameron Grimes is really growing on me. Every match I see him, I like him a little bit more, and I really like him now. Even though Matt Riddle won. Um, Cameron looked is it, it just it was great um even in a loss he he was he had a fantastic showing and this match oh my god there is this poor there's this part there's there's this poor part there was this part uh where it was right before a commercial break where uh Cameron hits he hits a moon salt or like a uh, uh, yeah, it's a moon salt, it, or just like a backflip, whatever. He he hits a moon salt and goes right into a suplex out of that. That like that's I I don't think I've ever seen that before, and I was super impressed. That was great. Um, 
and yeah, this this, this match was ridiculously good. Uh, Matt Riddle did win, um, but it was a hard hard fought battle to get that victory, and I am super super excited. Uh, Tyler Bate was there at ringside watching the match, and uh, he, he bumped fists with with Bro there, and um, be, because Cameron refused to bump fists with him after the match. And then uh, they, 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 they had a whole kerfuffle between Grimes and Tyler Bate. And this sets up a, 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 the next match. Not necessarily the next match, but this sets up another match for next week. Tyler Bate versus Cameron Grimes. That's going to be fantastic. And I am super, super excited for that. Um, oh, my God. I, I think I, if, you, if you just listened to the previous episode about – raw this week um there's pro which i recorded earlier today yes there's like the time delay i recorded like over a day after i actually watched it and all that so the, any excitement that i had it probably worn off anyway but even if i recorded it right after watching raw i would not be this energetic and excited and so so hyped up about it oh my god Oh, this episode is so good. This episode was so, so good. Like, if you put this episode up against one of the early takeovers, um, even the more recent takeovers, but I, I, I'm I'm saying from like a time length, like a length uh, of the takeover standpoint, because until like, uh, until like Mania last year, I think, um, with the unsanctioned match, all the takeovers before that were right about two hours. Um, just with five matches, always ended like pretty much on the dot, um, if I remember correctly. And so if you put this week's episode up against a two hour takeover, it would be, you would, I think you'd have a hard time like saying, like, what? Well, Obviously, you can tell which one is the t just the, the TV show because the commercials, the format, the, the where it is. But as far as the the quality of the matches and all of that, they it's and the pace, everything they are right on par with each other, uh, and that is incredible. And I'm <sighs> War Games is going to be ridiculous. Like if if this is how good the, the show it keeps getting better every week, in my opinion. And it's just, it's the weekly show. How crazy good is War Games gonna be? I I can't wait. It's gonna be so awesome. Um, I need to get some. I need to get some actual work done. I call. I I decided I didn't want to drive of thousands of miles this weekend. Um, is I was gonna have a convention. I need to take. I need to update the website. By the way, updated my Instagram profiles and stuff, but. Um, oh, did I update my Twitter bios? I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, I'll have to check on that later. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to go, uh, it was mostly the driving, um, uh, more than anything else for the, the trip this weekend. Um, plus it's, it's snowing right now and I don't know if it'll clear up that much before I would have had to leave tomorrow, but anyway, um uh yeah i gotta I, I do have my next show um is in las vegas in uh in like three weeks something like that so i do need to get some stuff ready for that which i will hopefully soon but before that happens okay so next week cameron grimes versus tyler Bate. that's gonna be that's gonna be awesome i mean <laughs> that's that's just gonna be uh I, i'm so excited for like I, I didn't even know who this guy was two, two months ago. Uh, and then they have the breakout tournament and all of that. And I, like, sort of was familiar with him. I kept forgetting his first name. I just knew Grimes. Grimey. Um, <laughs> originally, it's, it's uh, uh, I think a lot of people knew that as a, a Simpsons reference before uh, Walking Dead came around uh, to be become now the most well-known Grimes cultural reference, pop cultural reference. Um, but anyway, um, <clears throat> let's move, let's move on from, 
from that. Uh, we then had Brizongo uh, with a mystery partner versus the Forgotten Sons, and their mystery partner partner was Isaiah Swerve Scott. I say his name kind of weird. I like I kind of swerved his name a little bit there. Um, this match, I honestly, I, I was like half paying attention to like all the stuff that I I did uh, look up to the screen to see was great, especially from Swerve. Um, but the reason for that was, was that I was getting so excited for next week. And so I was starting to like confirm my plans and change my plans a little bit. Originally, I was just going to go out there for the Wednesday show, um, and fly back on Thursday morning. I decided I should go the whole time and that'll be great. Uh, not the whole time. The, I should go for four nights and go to three live events or or I might do something else on one of the nights we'll see what happens but um so I changed all those plans and I, I was like getting all excited and then like looking up the looking up the rental car and all that kind of stuff and it's gonna be good it's gonna I'm, I'm really excited for that um because the, the the their live events their 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 uh ha- the house show loop the the Florida loop um it's like such a small there there's such small spaces that they have the shows at that it's just it's just gonna be super super fun i think um but anyway um yeah because they do those shows just every week um you know just to, for uh you know get out there in front of an audience and you know uh you know just work on things and that's that's gonna be really fun to see um uh, we had Angel Garza versus Jack Gallagher with uh, Leo Rush on commentary here and there. Another great match. Angel Garza won. Uh, saving a little bit of face from losing to Champa last week, but there, there's no shame in losing to Tommaso Champa, I don't think. Uh, then we had a tag team, a women's tag team match to determine who will be the Kabuki Warriors' next opponents. And this tag team match was between uh, the teams uh, Team Kick and the Horsewomen. We had Dakota Kai and Tegan Knox versus Jasmine Duke and Marina Shafir. And Tegan won the match via shi- the shiniest wizard. And that means that they Team Kick will face the Kabuki Warriors. I am so excited for that. And then I am even more excited for that because that match is next week next wednesday and i will get to see that match in person and that is amazing oh okay so that's all the stuff that's been announced for 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 next week based from what happened tonight and that is enough i was like because i was like on the fence like "Eh, maybe i won't go uh i have the ticket and everything but i can cancel i can use the the travel funds another time blah 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 but then as each of these things developed on tonight's episode, I was like, okay, yeah, I have to go. I have to go and see this show because hell yes. Um, <clears throat> and then we had our main event. Keith Lee versus Dominic Dijakovic versus Roderick Strong for the North American Championship. Um, I'm okay. There is a super, there's like a, a Tower of Doom superplex thing that I don't understand how it was physically possible. And as they came down, it's it was apparent that it was just barely physical possible for that to have happened. Um, that was incredible. There's so many things throughout this. Uh, Roderick Strong had a superplex on uh, on on, on Dijakovic. Um, that, that alone, that was before the Tower of Doom happened. Um, oh, man. Just... Oh, these this series between Dajakovic and Lee has been epic. Um, this is like their fifth match uh, uh, together now, or something like that. And th- this is ba- yeah, this is totally part of that series because there are large sections of this match where it was those two against each other. Uh, at one point, they eliminated Roderick Strong from the picture, just took him out outside, knocked him down real hard. And, um, I mean, they <laughs> knocked him down real hard a couple of times. Um, and then they 
Like, all right, let's do this. They get back into the ring to have a one-on-one match. Um, and Roger Strong takes advantage of this. They're so busy beating each other up that uh, Lee was about to get the win there at the end after hitting that. Uh, oh, it was was it the sit down super sit down power bomb or whatever you call uh, uh i don't know what he called I, I think it was his, his finisher i don't remember what it's called um those you know it's off the it's like a power bomb off the ropes it's ridiculous uh doing that to to especially doing that to dijakovic gigantic guy um and uh, I believe it was a Shining Wizard. Another Shining Wizard saves the day for Roderick Strong. Kicks him, kicks Keith Lee right in the face um, uh, to break up the pinfall. And then gets the pinfall himself to remain the NXT North American Championship. So, champion. Um, so, yeah. The match was incredible. The ending, the, it, was, it was great. It, it made all the sense and it was uh, yeah um so but after the match they start beating up on keith lee he he finally rolls out of there and then champa comes out and he stares at so undisputed era they all come out after the match and they start beating up on on keith lee uh champa comes out and then johnny gargano comes out and then finn balor comes out we have these this four on three stare down with finn balor in the middle and just as we're about to see things go down, things go down a very different path. And Finn Balor hits a uh, bicycle kick. It's like bicycle kick, Pele kick, whatever that thing, uh, to hit the person behind him. He does that to Johnny Gargano, takes him out. Undisputed Era, they swarm onto Ch- Ch- Champa. Uh, Finn is just watching this chaos ensue. And then he calmly gets out of the, the rolls rolls out of the ring and then hits the most brutal shotgun drop kick I've seen, uh, sending Gargano right into the railing, knocking over a whole bunch of dudes. And then, uh, and then hits bloody Sunday on the ramp there, which was insane. And it's, uh, yeah, Darnie Gargano is dead. Uh, apparently he was taken away on a stretcher after the show as everybody else looked on. Uh, oh, I, I hope that was, I, that's why I heard. I hope that's not, he's not actually injured that it's like, that is all part of the, 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 the drama of it. If he is actually injured, I feel really, I, I, I hope he gets better. Um, but man, what a hell of a, a, a twist at the end there and up until the main events i had completely forgotten that oh yeah finn is supposed to be on this episode hmm he hasn't shown up yet maybe, maybe he's not gonna be here uh but when when champa came out i was like oh or even before champa came out, i was like okay finn has to come out now finn has to come out and i'm delighted with how it all happened so man um gargano I, I i guess could be it, it would make sense for him to be out of the picture for a while now um if they I, i'm gonna check and see i i bet they have like an online exclusive of the aftermath of uh gargano getting put on a stretcher and all that kind of stuff so um i haven't checked that out yet so you you may have already seen that if you're listening to this now you may have already seen all kinds of aftermath and everything um so yeah i I am so excited for next week um, and so excited for war games. Is is it going to be Undisputed Era versus Finn? And Ch- it doesn't seem like he wants anything to do with Champa either. He, he, d- he didn't pay any attention to Champa at all. It definitely doesn't want anything to do with Gargano. Uh, and it's questionable, is Finn on Undisputed Era's side? Or is this a statement that he is on his own side? And he wants nothing to do with them either. Uh, we could have had. I I was kind of wondering if the back of his shirt would say uh, it would have the undisputed era on there or something like that. That is not the case, at least not yet. Um, so speculation. Uh, it would be pretty awesome now that Finn and the OC are all 
evil sons of bitches. Uh, if they were all together to face the undisputed era, it'd be really interesting. Heels, a heel team versus a heel team. That'd be a hell of a war games match, but I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, or is Finn just, uh, just the, just the, the, the lone guy. He's just, uh, causing the chaos on his own. I will, we'll see, we'll see what develops next week. I am super, super excited for everything that's going to happen. Um, so yeah, that's, that is everything. Um, I will absolutely record episodes or multiple episodes of all the shows I go to next week. I'm really excited for that. Um, SmackDown, of course, this Friday, I will watch that and have episodes, um, uh, short, soon after, um, this Saturday I'm going to, uh, cause I'm not going down to Texas. I am able to go to, um, Shotzi lock Shotzi black. Is it shot? Shotzi Blackheart. Blackheart or Lock? No, it's Black Blackheart. So anyway, she is signed with uh, WWE to join NXT. But th- so this is her final show with Lucha Libre and Laughs here in Denver. Um, and uh, I'm very excited. For, he's she's fighting Anaya, who is the Lucha Libre and Laughs champion. I saw him win that championship last month. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's, it's going to be cool. I'm really excited. Um, so I'll, I'll, t- I'll probably talk about that. Um, maybe I'll wait and record the, the SmackDown episode so I can talk about that in that episode. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for everything. I am like a million times more excited about NXT than anything else. Like not just anything else in wrestling, just anything else. Um, so let me know what you thought about this week's episode by tweeting me at TIW podcast, go to TIW podcast.com for more reviews. If you enjoyed this episode or anything else on the site, please share some links with your friends, subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, wherever you like to listen, stay safe out there in all the infinite multiverses and watch out for those bicycle bait, Pele kick or whatever that kick is. I should have thought that through. Um, and I'll see you next time here on TIW podcast. Bye.